Hey tech freaks from across the world. Welcome to my channel Tech Store. Before starting to watch this video, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. Do not forget to like, share and comment our videos. Thank you so much guys. Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store and in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop. Now it might be an Intel i5, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 or an Intel i7, the outlook is going to remain the same. We are not discussing the performance specifics over here. So if you are here to understand if there is a performance uh, benchmarking being done, this is not the video you should watch. In this video, we are going to be showing you the entire outlook of the laptop, the basic review of the ports that the laptop has and the way the laptop looks. As well as we are going to dig deep inside the base and upgrade the RAM, install another SSD, put another hard drive and also replace the battery in the due course. So let's do it. So the top panel over here is uh, not a metallic uh, finish, it's polycarbonate but a much better polycarbonate finish over here, absolutely matte and it's having this uh, greyish bluish tinge, it's not jet black per se. The Legion logo here is pretty nicely engraved and uh, once you open, you see that uh, there is a webcam shutter and uh, you can you know on and off the webcam over here. The screen is a full HD IPS uh, 144 hertz refresh rate screen. It might be a Core i5 or a Ryzen 5 or a Ryzen 7. They will all have the same outlook as you are seeing over here. Very nicely designed hinges I can see. They are pretty much upright and uh, centered hinges. The keyboard again is phenomenal, very nicely placed and the key travel is very good. The feedback is absolutely premium when you are working on it. Even the up and down arrow keys have a separate kind of a casted on the keyboard so it makes it much easier for you guys who are into a lot of gaming over here it's got backlit keyboard single uh, white color keyboard over here the higher end versions of legion 5 legion 5 pro will have rgb full rgb but this one has a single white color keyboard and the power button is a separate uh, that's a very good thing it's not integrated inside the keyboard so that's a good uh, thing to have the touchpad also has the same uh, matte finish, uh, it's, it's sort of a little rubbery if you ask me, not metallic. We would have preferred it to be having a metallic finish. Over the years when you're using it, they start to tend to wither off and it is a very dirty feeling when you're working on these kind of uh, touchpads. The touchpad also over here is not very big or large, it's, it's an average size touchpad over here. So it's got three side nano bezel basically the screen has, the Lenovo logo is over here. On the left uh, you have the heat dissipation vent area, you have a USB 3.0 port as well as a charging port where you can charge your USB based devices. You have a headphone mic combi, as you can see it is not slim per se because it's a gaming laptop. Uh, very nice uh, design elements of uh, Lenovo being given over here uh, at the roundings. In the front, there are absolutely no IOs whatsoever. A good lever given for uh, opening the hinge, opening the LED panel. And on the right, uh, you have a power indicator, you have a one key recovery key pinhole, you have another USB 3.0, you have dissipation vent uh, given over here. And the magic here is in the rear, if you ask me. Two large heat vents over here for uh, easy dissipation of air, the hot air that has to blow out. Then you have an Ethernet port, you have a C type, full C type port, you have two more USB 3.0 ports and you have a HDMI port as well as uh, the charging pin connector, the DC jack connector and Kensington lock also. The base is also very clutter free as you can see good amount of uh, vent area given for suction of the fresh air. We will dig deep into this particular laptop's inners and show you how to upgrade it now. The speaker grill is over here as well as over here. So it's not front firing, it's the speakers are at the base. So this is the shot taken from the web camera of the Lenovo Legion 5. And the camera is not at all good actually if you ask me. Uh, there's so much lighting here. Still uh, I can see the, the video is pretty dark. So not at all a good job on webcam as is the case with most Lenovo laptops. You take maybe a 50,000 or a 1 lakh laptop, it is the same way. 
So a big thumbs down on the web camera here. Let's check out the audio quality of the speakers that uh, they have integrated. It's Harman and Curtin audio. So. nice the bass uh, output is very good actually uh, it's not that loud but uh, not at all tinny you'll have very good hearing experience the listening experience of uh, music and uh, movies is going to be amazing on this particular laptop so big thumbs up the Harman curtain speakers that have been integrated fantastic speakers now let's see if the laptop opens with one hand operation Absolutely, as you can see, the very sturdy hinges here need not worry about the hinges breaking off very soon, but get them uh, greased and uh, calibrated after at least one and a half, two years of usage. It's always a good best practice. First thing first, we'll flip the laptop and you'll see all these screws that have to be removed. One by one. Take a star screwdriver and start removing the screws. These four screws are smaller as you can see in length and you have to keep it aside. Now take a prior like this, a triangular prior and start prying from any of the edges. Then open the laptop and you need to pry over this side as well as over this side over here and the lid will come off very very comfortably like this so these are the inners of the Lenovo Legion 5 you can see over here this is the battery the M.2 SSD bay secondary M.2 SSD hard drive bay over here dual fan the RAM area the heat sink everything literally very much uh, configurable as you can see let's start with the battery first let's start with the battery remove the screws over here we need to open this covering. These three screws have to be opened. It's basically a heat sink that is on top of the M.2 SSD. And then you open the M.2 SSD here and you get access to this screw over here. So once the screws have been removed, just need to remove this battery and just need to pull this connector out over here very, very gently and the battery comes off. So this comes with a 60 watt hour battery. The ratings are 17.6 volts and 58.5 watt hours. The type code is L19C4PC0. So take a similar battery and you can replace it comfortably. Let's keep it aside. Now coming to the part with the SSD is, this is the by default SSD that Lenovo gives. So we've already removed it. As you can see, the heat sink was removed and the SSD came out. Uh, you can take another SSD and you can have two SSDs installed actually. We will show you how to do that. So this is the SSD that comes along with it. This is a M.2 uh, Gen 3 X4 NVMe SSD. And take a similar SSD if you want to upgrade. So say one terabyte or two terabyte also, you just need to take a SSD and just fit it like this. Put this particular screw over here and the SSD is fitted. This is the Wi-Fi chip. Coming to the hard drive area, you, if you want to install a hard drive, you just need to have uh, these few screws removed. Once you remove these screws, you will see the connector is out. This is the strip connector over here. Just need to remove the strip connector. Fortunately, Lenovo gives the hard disk connector along with this particular thing. So this is a dummy casing right now, which is there. So if you want to install a hard drive, an actual hard drive, you just need to take a hard drive, which is 2.5 inches SATA up to two terabyte hard drive. We will show you how to do that. Now there is this uh, plastic dummy that is there inside. So you need to just remove it. You need to remove it like this. It comes off. All right. You need to remove this connector as well. And you need to take a 2.5 inches slim SATA hard drive or SSD and uh, install the connector like this. All right. And then fit it <coughs> over like this. So the screws uh, to be fitted onto the hard drive have been given over here like this. So the screws are over here. You just need to remove these screws one by one. Just need to remove it like this. Very nicely uh, designed actually, if you ask me. And the screws are out. Just need to take these screws and you need to fit it onto the new hard drive. All right, so you're good to go now. 
strip connector has to go back to the jack here and just need to press it and now you need to put in the screws one two and three so now you see that uh, either a hard drive or a secondary ssd can be installed you cannot install both of them together so keep that in mind let's now remove the hard disk because we don't want to install the hard disk on this uh, particular laptop here Alright, so in a scenario you want to just install another M.2 SSD, you need to remove this uh, hard disk connector that I have shown to you and uh, you need to insert uh, M.2 NVMe, uh, the 2280 form factor and uh, it goes inside like this and uh, you can take any of the screws, one of the screws that are there on the motherboard to basically fit here. The screws are not going to be provided. You can take this one screw and put it over like this. So as of now, we don't want to install a SSD to this. So we will remove it and we will fit this particular screw back to the motherboard screw. Fit it back. But coming to the part where the RAM is, RAM is over here. So we just need to remove this outer heat sink kind of a thing. That is it. Just take a blade like this and from one of the edges will come off. There are these metal holders all along. So be very careful when you are removing it. So as you can see there are two RAM slots over here. So you can upgrade up to 32 GB, 16 GB plus 16 GB. It is advisable if both of these RAM slots are occupied. So if it is having 8 GB, install another 8 GB and make it 16 GB so that the dual data rate can be activated. One channel going for read, one channel going for write. So just remove this uh, RAM if you want to upgrade. Just with the two thumb fingers and uh, the RAM comes out. So the RAM is a standard 8 GB, 1 R, 3200 megahertz. DDR4 laptop RAM. Just take a similar laptop RAM up to 16 GB and you can install it very comfortably like this. And then uh, you can take a cover back very carefully so that it is fitting on all the K okay, and uh, you are good to go with this. This is the CMOS cell. In sense, uh, you want to replace the CMOS cell here. Your date and time, say three years from now, you are watching this particular uh, video. It is 2022 here in India, and you are watching say 2028, 27. You want to change the CMOS cell. This is where it is. You just need to remove this uh, connector over here, and you need to replace this CRV2032 CMOS cell. So this is the backlit keyboard connector. This is the keyboard connector over here. In a scenario, your laptop's keyboard is not working and you just want to disconnect it. Just below this, the key uh, connector is there. You can remove it. This is the daughter board. This is the speaker over here. The speaker is connected. Uh, there is a speaker board connector over here. So if you want to replace the speaker, just remove this particular connector over here, which is there just below the SSD and the keyboard connecting cable. And you can replace the speaker very, very comfortably. So you can just clean up the fans if they have got clean, I mean if they have got dirty, as you can see a lot of dust is there. The hinge is pretty nicely uh, placed over here, you can see, doesn't uh, seem like it will come off very easily. Let us put the heat sink back and before that uh, we need to put the battery actually, so we will again remove it. We'll take the battery. There has not to be a hard disk connector uh, screw over here. It has to go here, here and over here. Now take the SSD, install it here. All right, let's put the cover back, put it like this. Put the small screws first. Now 
once you have done an upgrade after the upgrade the laptop will not boot immediately it will take uh, maybe two or three minutes for it to boot because you've removed the battery and you've done a lot of settings so once it is done it will be up like this so this my friends was a video showing you the Lenovo Legion 5, uh, the Intel i5 variant. It might have a graphic card which is 4GB NVIDIA 1650 or RTX 3050. They will all look the same and uh, this is the way the entire laptop can be disassembled and you can upgrade the RAM, put another SSD, put another hard drive, literally do anything and everything with your Lenovo Legion 5. Hope you liked our video guys, uh, let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Remember we do a lot of effort for producing videos like this free of cost to help you out. We require you to subscribe. We will respond to comments only for people who have subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much.